I know I've mentioned it before, but I love Shay. She's a really interesting character in a very interesting situation. All of the drive we see to succeed comes from within her. Sure, we can assume that her parents influenced her a bit to be that way, but anytime we see her parents on screen, they're usually the ones reminding her to play sometimes, get some sleep, do something other than work. But not many fans seem to like her, or in fact, they accuse her of having no character. It's that latter part that I take issue with. Shay does have character, and frankly, if you don't think so, I don't think you've been paying attention. There's just so much, and it's kind of hard to figure out a particular place to start other than the beginning. We didn't really get to know Shay very well in season 14 after she was introduced. She was more a background character for whatever was going on with Frankie, kind of like Lola was. She was rather uptight and school-oriented, but we also got a hint of her character through her crush on Dallas. When it was made clear that he was still with Allie, she genuinely tried to help him by showing him that his ideas of romance weren't something that Allie was really gonna go for or appreciate. Even though most people would see the girlfriend as the enemy or someone that you want to get as far away from your crush as possible, we get a hint of Shay's willingness to sacrifice things that she likes in order to make other people happy. In this case, she's sacrificing going for Dallas to make sure that Dallas is happy. True, she does pursue him later in the weight room after it seemed that his date suggestion was a bust, but can you blame her? Remember how Dallas was describing the situation. I would hate Allie too and think that she's just making him miserable. One other thing she was involved with in season 14 was Degrassi nudes, and it's a little iffy whether or not that is still in canon with Degrassi going into next class, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is, especially because it still informs the character that Shay became. Considering how terrible of a situation Degrassi Newts was and the effect it could have on a future professional sports career, that probably really shook Shay. This was probably the thing, plus her parents' punishment for being involved with this, that really drove her to fear any sort of distraction from her track. Anything that could possibly mess her up or take her off the path that she wanted to follow, she had to just avoid. Whether that be a silly inter-high school volleyball prank, or even having a boyfriend. Although, with that latter part, even though she said that she couldn't be with Tiny because she didn't want any distractions, I wouldn't be surprised if it was also that she was just scared. True, her parents were very much against her dating, but they opened up enough to say, okay, let's meet this boy if you really like him and you think he's a good influence on you. They were willing to work with Shay and possibly let her date, especially because she's an all-around good kid and she doesn't let herself get distracted. But even still, Shay didn't introduce Tiny to her parents. Very soon after, she told Tiny that they can't keep seeing each other past being lab partners. A common theme that I've noticed with Shay is she's afraid of the unknown. If it's not on her set path, she's less likely to go along with it. She really, really liked Tiny, but she didn't know how it'd work out. Maybe he actually would be a distraction for her. And because she thought that she valued her future career more than high school romances, she allowed Lola to go ahead and date him. But very quickly, she realized how big of a mistake that was. Turned out that being afraid of distractions and insecurities about the future don't outweigh your feelings towards someone. As we see with how painful it is to keep seeing Lola and Tiny just gallivanting all over the place. But to be frank on that one, she told Lola she can go after Tiny. She kind of had to just deal with it. I really found it interesting the part that she played in the whole volleyball prank incident. I have a video all about Frankie's side in the story and why even though she's not racist, she's accidentally racist, and I'll have a link in the description and in the end card thing. Shay knows that her best friend isn't racist, and even though initially she didn't understand how what she did could be taken as racist, when she learned the history and the implications of what Frankie did, she found that it only made sense for Frankie to at least apologize to the other team. She absolutely didn't want Frankie to quit the team, but regardless of whatever Frankie did, it had to be her decision. The ball was now in her court and Shay's involvement ended there. She could not fix this mistake that her friend made. And unfortunately, due to the lack of fixing of that mistake, she started to wonder if Frankie actually was racist, especially with the things that she said in trying to defend herself, calling Northern Tech those people and blaming them for being offended. But when Frankie finally came around and saw how what she did, though not ill intent, could still hurt people, and how her actions afterwards only made it worse, Shay forgave Frankie. 
Sure, she had to think about it a little bit, but Jay reasoned it out, and she valued her friendship with Frankie more than holding over her head something that she's obviously learned her lesson for. Regardless of what she feels, it'd be unfair to continue to punish Frankie for something that she's already kind of done her time for. And sometimes sacrifices like this can really mess Shay up, especially as we see at the end of the season when she tries to give up Tiny once more for Lola. This is where all her self-sacrificing comes to a head when she finally just says, enough, when do I get rewarded or reap the benefits of being a good person? Which sounds really superficial, but it's understandable. It can be frustrating when you hold yourself to being a good person, yet everyone around you seems to take advantage of that or no good seems to come of it. And now that she sees how painful it was to go without Tiny, she doesn't want history to continue to repeat itself, especially now that Lola and Tiny are broken up. Unfortunately, this frustration has a very poor manifestation, involving Shay almost throwing out their first finals match against Northern Tech. I think that would have sucked a lot more than not being able to be with Tiny, especially with how much weight she puts on being scouted. But this by no means stops her from being a good person. Even though Esme keeps eternally shaming her for being a woman and having to menstruate, Shay soon apologizes after she tries to prank Esme. She realizes that feeling insecure about having a period is rather silly, and it was wrong to take out whatever feelings came from being insecure about it on someone else, even if they're being a jerk about it. And again, Shay really isn't perfect. I mean, she was rather inconsiderate to Lola when she and Frankie invited over their boyfriends during girls' night. Kind of a jerk move. But because of this, we got to learn how Shay is insecure about her relationship and trying to measure up to what she thought Lola and Tiny had. When she found out that Tiny does actually think about sex and actually wants it with Shay, she starts to think that Tiny expects it from her because he had it all the time with Lola and feels conflicted because she's not really ready for sex. She's thought about it, but she doesn't want to have it now. And again, unfortunately, it manifests in some pretty bad ways, involving her chewing out Lola for no reason and basically slut-shaming Tiny. But like rational people, they talked it over and she admitted where she went wrong. Unfortunately, her insecurities also lead her to steal from Lola. Desperate to get an edge in her training and just simply not reaching the marks that she thinks she should be at, she tries to turn to steroids, but quickly finds that she just doesn't have the money for that. And again, facing the prospect of giving up all the work she's done over her entire life and also not having a way to pay for the seemingly only thing that could allow her to reach her goals, she takes the money out of the tip jar at Lola's family restaurant. Thankfully, she doesn't spend it and very quickly returns it. Even though she got caught, she never once said or seemed to think that she regretted returning the money, which is very hard, even for a good person. No one really likes admitting they're wrong, but she does it constantly. Even though her flaws can lead her to do some pretty bad things like slut shame Tiny or steal money out of Lola's tip jar, she strives to be a good person still. She admits her mistakes and often opts to sacrifice things that she wants to make sure other people are happy. And if that doesn't sound like character, I don't know what is. Thank you very much for consuming this video, and before you go, what do you think of Esme? I'm gonna have a link to the survey in the comments, and if you feel anything about Esme, please tell me. You'll see why in a few weeks. Thank you very much again, and until next time.